Hey you guys, how you doing? My name is Darren McClish here to give you another one of the top 100 mistakes that people make in their route to the bad life, okay? And today, a powerful message I got to bring to you guys and it's mistake number 15. And mistake number 15 is failing to take responsibility for your relationships. Listen, when we talk about life, anything that has to do with life, it has to do with relationships, you guys. Listen, we can't do it alone. You can't do it alone. There is no individual in life who has succeeded, who has done it alone. Life is about relationships, you guys. So in order to succeed in life, you can't make this mistake, right? This is not one of the mistakes that you could kind of eat by and have an okay life. No, if you don't get this rela relationship mistake right, you're gonna have a bad life. I've seen far too many people go down that route, um, that path, that scary path to the bad life with failed relationships, ruined friendships, ruined marriages, ruined business relationships, bridges burned, you know? It's all about relationships and dealing with people. And you guys gotta learn how to deal with people. You know, um, as I look and think about all of the individuals who have succeeded in life, in all aspects we talk about in life, um, they've all been able to develop some type of relationship with people. Even the most reclusive um, geniuses had relationships. You know, with people, and, and these relationships are not just, you know, personal friendships. They are how you relate to other people around you, surroundings. Um, when we talk about business, we talk about marketing and the customers and everything else. You have to know how to deal with people. Each individual customer is a relationship. See, you guys have to look at the big picture before you start to understand the importance of being responsible for your relationships. See, I started off this conversation just talking about failing to take responsibility for your, for your relationships, but the most important part is the responsibility part. When it comes to relationships, and I know this is a hard pill for a lot of people to swallow, um, but everything that happens in your life is your fault when it comes to relationships, right? If you have a bad relationship with somebody, it is your fault because a relationship is a two-way street. So yeah, I'm talking to both of you if it's two people in a relationship, but it is your fault. You see, because you have to learn how to take 100% responsibility for everything that goes on in your life, which includes your relationships. See, because once you start to redirect blame away from yourself and toward another individual, you only put that individual out of defense, whether it's a customer, whether it's a friend, you know, whether it's business associates, whether it's the market, right? Relationships are all your responsibility, so you have to take charge of them, and you have to understand people. You know, one of the great books that I've read um, by Peter Drucker and Managing Oneself, um, he talks about knowing your boss, knowing yourself. He says most people in life um, think that they know themselves and most people are wrong. Well, how powerful is that? Because me personally, it was a mistake I was making because I thought I knew myself, you know? But it wasn't until um, I started reaching up to people who knew more than me, uh, or who, when I wasn't the smartest person in the room, that I started to begin to learn that I didn't know myself. And it wasn't until I took full responsibility for all my relationships, all my mistakes and everything that I did, full responsibility on myself, that I started to grow and learn and know more about myself. You see, you have to be open. Not open to everybody because your mind should be discriminatory toward certain opinions, right? Everybody doesn't deserve an opinion in your life. But more importantly, when you find those right people, those right people that are in positions, okay, who are ahead, who have things that you would like to achieve, 
or living the life that you would like to live, then your mind should be open, open to what they have to say to you and not be so um, defensive when they start to tell you the things that you're for. See, I was a very defensive individual and it's something that I'm constantly working on, all right? Because when somebody tells you, hey, listen, you messed up, they may not always say it the right way. Now, I know as my years of law enforcement, um, a lot of people are A-type personalities and they're extremely blunt when they tell you you're messing up, you know? And they'll tell you straight to your face, man, you are a messed up individual and you are doing it wrong. And if you are getting butt hurt every time somebody says that, you won't grow. See, you'll immediately be on the defense, you immediately think that they're wrong and you're right, and you immediately start to try to explain why you did what you did. When the fact of the matter is that if you just simply accepted the fact that you're wrong and began to learn, the learning process could begin. See, you can learn from anybody, right? Sometimes you learn the mistakes that they make, which I'm trying to teach you guys right here, right now. Sometimes you learn the mistakes that they make. Other times, you learn a valuable lesson of something that they told you to help you avoid making mistakes. And that's what I'm putting this all out here for, you know? Um, there is no one out there of significance who has succeeded as a loner, right? There are no loners out there who are making an impact on the world, might I add. Let me say that. There's no loners out there that have made an impact on the world. See, everybody needs everybody in order for us to achieve what we need to achieve, you know, to live together. To, to prosper together, to gain knowledge together. See, there's not one individual who has all of the knowledge in the world. That's why we need each other. You know, so many people get caught up in the media hype. You know, it's so much media hype uh, of the lone survivor, the sole entrepreneur. I mean, that's BS, that's media. See, because they don't show you the long path of all of the people that they work with along the way. No, they just show those individuals at the top. And that may not always be the case, okay? Those individuals have people who they work with along the way to get there, <coughs> you know? And you guys have to understand that, okay? So don't get caught up in the media hype, you know, the spotlight or how they put the spotlight on one individual um, who has succeeded and they don't show you the path, right? Or how he went at it alone. Listen, not too many people, like I said before, who have created anything of significant for the world has done it alone. If worst case scenario, they needed the rest of the world to accept what they have done in order for them to achieve their achievements. So um, understand that as we go through that. Um, another important thing that you need to um, take responsibility for is relationships, right? You know, we have so many relationships as we come up from from children to adulthood and as we go on, right? We have different stages of people. We have people who haven't achieved what we achieved, who we need to be responsible in those relationships, meaning we need to guide them and direct them in the right direction so that they can achieve great things, right? We don't need to be selfish with our knowledge. We need to have to give the knowledge because honestly and truly, the more you give knowledge, the, the greater people become, the more you learn and the more fulfilled you are as an individual. I know me personally, you know, there are people who haven't achieved what I achieved and they want to come along and gain what I've gained. And I'm open to allowing them to learn, you know, and that helps me. Okay, that is one type of relationship. The another type of relationship is your friends, the people on your level, right? The people on your level, you guys exchange knowledge. Some things they know, some things you know, and you guys are exchanging equal knowledge. You know, so you're gaining and learning at the same time. You know, and you have to be responsible with those relationships, right? Responsible with your friends. Uh, a respect, um, it comes into play when I think about responsibility for your friends. You gotta have respect for your friends, and you gotta have your friends have respect for you um, in the exchange of knowledge that you guys give each other. You know, when it comes to marriage and relationships, oh my goodness, this is so important. You guys, and I've talked about this before, and one thing I learned is when it comes to the marriage relationships, that you need to be 100% all in on that relationship.
relationship and give 100% as opposed to expecting something in return. That is a responsibility part of that relationship. When you begin to give without wanting to receive, just give it out of your heart because that's who you are and that's who you become. You've raised your standard of mentality. You've grown. That's a powerful relationship with each party is given 100%. You know, that's when the good times come, you know, and you can grow from that. I learned that from people who were 10, 20 years down and took into relationships and marriage and were happy. That's what I learned from them, you know. Um, last but not least, let's talk about business. Business and customers. You know, I hear so many people talk about, you know, the customers are so stupid. They don't know what they want. Yeah, they do know what they want. Okay, and a lot of salespeople don't realize that you need to understand what the customer wants and give it to them, right? That is how you enlighten people. See, a lot of people, you may think that they don't know what they want, but they're just not, maybe don't have the knowledge that you have, so they can't articulate it the same way. Your job is to articulate to them all right, that's my Shelby barking over there. Your job is to part, uh, articulate to them the knowledge that you have so they can understand what you're talking about. All right? Last and not least, okay, you need to learn to avoid certain people at work. Right? There are certain people at work who didn't come there to work, you guys. They didn't come there to work. They came to work just to sit around and collect a paycheck and vegetate for 20 30 years, right? That is not who you need to be. Not at work, right? When you go to work, you need to have a fulfillment. You need to have a mission. Meaning, you need to know who your boss is, right? That's important. You need to know what the mission statement of your company is. What is their goal? What is the objective? And you need to align yourself with them in order to help them achieve their goals. See, if you go going to work today and every day for a bigger mission, you know, helping a major company achieve their goal to helping your small company reach a, a plateau, a milestone, then that is something to get excited about and jump out of bed every day. You know, most people, when the alarm clock goes off, man, they're hitting snooze three or four times and they don't want to show up to work, right? It's so much better to be excited about your job and what you're doing. But in order to do that, you have to avoid being around the wrong people at work. Because the wrong people at work will drain you. They will sit around the water cooler and they will gossip about people at work. And they will bring you down and they will distract you. And when you start to get in the zone, they will joke with you and laugh with you and try to pull you away from what you need to do. Avoid those people at work at all costs. If you do, I promise you, and align yourself with the boss, you'll climb the ladder a whole lot faster than most. Because most people do not do that. All right? Um, the last thing that I want to talk about before we wrap this up is your customers and their relationships, right? It is so important to continually build relationships with your customers, right? And continue to build relationships as in trust, right? Let them know that you're a person of your word and what you say you do. You know, it's important. If you can't do something, if you can't um, perform something for your customers, then just be honest with them and say, hey, listen, my company can't do that. Or I personally can't do that, but let me refer you to someone who can. And when you do things like that, that builds a trust with your customer where they say, hey, listen, this guy's not just out to get a sale, right? This guy cares about me because that's the most important part, right? Developing relationships being responsible for relationships okay so listen um i hope i've given you guys some value some content something you could take away from this today um because being responsible in relationships is the only thing that's going to help you to achieve what you need to achieve in life right no matter what type of relationship it is you kind of have to be a good one in order for you to get what you want all right so um hopefully like I said, I've given you guys something of value, and if I have, click on my link and check me out at Daryl McClish TV. Or also, um, if you guys uh, follow me on Facebook and Instagram, I'm always putting out some uh, good quotes and some motivation on Instagram. And if you guys like to read, I'll be putting together a blog at rivetedlifestyle.com, and I will talk.
talk to you guys later with the next tip. All right? Bye-bye.